On my 16th birthday, something in my brain broke. When I was 20 years old, I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder. This was after years of therapy, four different psychiatric hospitalizations, countless self-inflicted wounds which required dozens of stitches, 35 pounds starved from my body, and a slew of prescription medication, including, but not limited to, Paxil, Celexa, Zoloft, Effexor, and a blue sedative that made my right eye twitch. After all of this, after all of the highs and the lows and the side effects, after all the doctors who called me difficult, depressed, confused, brilliant, let yet trouble, dramatic, suicidal, creative, borderline, articulate, depressed, hypomanic, eating disorders, substance addicted, childish, brave, loud, very receptive, yet totally untreatable. After all of this, the only definitive thing I knew about myself was that I had this thing called bipolar disorder. As a young adult, I could talk myself off a psychiatric ward, but I didn't know how to cook rice. I could rattle off dozens of facts about mental illness, medication dosages, and psychoanalysis, but I couldn't wear a t-shirt without people staring at the scars in my arms. I could speak in front of 500 people about living with bipolar disorder, but I couldn't look anyone in the eye. Today is my 24th birthday, 8 years since my brain betrayed me, and 4 years since I found out why it happened. Some things have changed since then, some things have not. I've been hospitalized twice since then. Being prescribed a variety of medications to soothe my roller coaster mood swings. Lamotrigine, Ciprolex, Seroquel, Clomazepam, and Prozac. I've had an existential crisis or two, and eventually I learned to live with myself. Most importantly, I learned who I am and what I am not. I'm an artist, not a constellation of symptoms. I'm a photographer, not a casualty of modern psychiatry. I'm a person, not a diagnosis. I'm going from strength.